It started off with wind. It wasn't like life threatening wind, but then it started picking up, then rain came in and this, the wind picked up harder and harder. At a point in time I was sleeping and my brother used to woke me up, windows blown open, and we he he's trying to put in the louvers and I'm holding him and like we're fighting the wind. A couple of minutes later, this section of my my mom's room. The roof came off, then my bedroom came off. We went to the living room, glass started to bust. We had all of this boarded up. <laughs> Basically, what you see me have on, and apart from another shirt and a pants, is what I have. This is what I have. I don't even know what to say. The roof gone, my mom's bedroom's turned up. This was all room here. And it's not cool. Don't talk about when we had to run and leave the house during the middle of the hurricane. The wind there picked up and went with me. I'm... In the moment, it was like, your life is on the line. Right now, how we live in is what we see in the movies. Right now, I don't even know what to do. Right now, I want to leave, but I don't want to leave. What's, what, what am I going to leave and go? What am I going to leave and do? After the hurricane, people started looting and going into businesses and all that stuff. I mean, we have to do these things to survive, you know what I mean? But if right now, if any help out there that could help us, we need food and water and shelter, tent, something. A lot of people probably can't find a family. We need connectivity to get to our family. I guess right now, people are in shock. So emo we are a little emotional and we need a peace of mind that we're going to get through this, you know what I mean? Because well, you know what you're seeing here is destruction, it's chaos.